Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So another detailing video, and this is actually a very specific video for anyone that has a satin or matte paint finish. This applies to anybody that's got either a full uh, vehicle wrap, Expel Stealth, or a factory OEM satin finish like I have on my AMG GTR. So I've owned the car for about a month so far, and so far I've been learning it's got some pros and some cons as far as the maintenance and upkeep. Number one, I can't paint correct the car, so any swirls or scratches you're not gonna ever see. But the one thing that I noticed, of course the car is green, is that it's attracting bugs like nobody's business. So there's always bugs, there's always stuff falling on it. And if you watch some of the videos on the channel, the last couple of videos I posted, I'm driving this car up north, there's a lot of trees, a lot of woods, and if you look closely, there's just a lot of junk that's all over this paint, and it's falling all over the paint. So it's a lot of sap, a lot of fallout, a lot of stuff that's coming, you know, like we got more bugs, there's bugs all over the car, and it just seems to stick to the car that a normal conventional contact wash is just not enough. So I actually consulted with the owner of a professional body shop that specifically does refinishing on all the exotic cars that have these finishes, and he told me a lot of tips and tricks. And then I started going into my detailing cabinet, kind of see what products that I would have. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different demonstrations on how to safely clean and decontaminate these finishes. So on the table, I'm gonna show you guys some demonstrations. We're gonna be using some Goo Gone, some IPA wipe, all-purpose cleaner. We're gonna use a clay matrix towel. Conventionally, to decontaminate, I would use the professional Meguiar's detailing clay, but this stuff is a little bit too aggressive and I don't wanna mar the finish. Before we get started, we're gonna do a quick contact wash using this microfiber wash pad. We're also gonna be using some of these microfiber wax pads as well. In here, we got some 007 Snowstorm. We're gonna use it to foam up to use the clay matrix mat. We're gonna use this on the hood. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different demonstrations on how you could safely get rid of tar, bugs, sap, whatever gets on this type of finish, where you're gonna not, when you feel it, rub your hand across the paint, it's gonna feel like total garbage. And I'll show you guys real quick if the audio could pick it up. I could feel so much stuff that's stuck to this paint and it's driving me absolutely wild right now because uh, even though the car looks great, it doesn't feel great to the touch. And you can just see there's just stuff all over the window. Um, I don't know where the hell I drove, what trees I drove under the last couple of days, but the car is an absolute mess. So I'm going to show you guys start to finish a couple of different demonstrations that if you guys have this type of paint finish, you should be able to knock this stuff out safely and easily with very conventional detailing products that you could pick up locally. All right, guys, so before we get started, I'm going to prepare my solo foamer. So we have some 007 Snowstorm 2.0, and I'm actually going to add some 007 Gloss Enhancer Ceramic, okay? Because what we want to do when we use the clay matrix towel, we want to have the most lubrication we could possibly get on this finish. Because otherwise, if you use conventional clay, this stuff, you could feel it like with your fingers. It's super sticky. This is going to mar. I don't care how careful you are, and I don't really recommend doing it. Whereas on this clay matrix towel, you can see I could touch it. And it, this is, a, of course, a fine surface prep towel from Greer's Garage. This is not sticking to my hand. So this is what you're gonna wanna use with very high lubrication on the surface, just so we don't have any marring where you're gonna get this material stuck to the paint. Okay, we're gonna charge up the Solo Foamer. We're also gonna be able to dial down the density of the foam. So we're gonna kind of, we want a watery foam. We don't want a thick, dry foam because we want lubrication. So let's go over to the car right now. We're gonna do a quick wipe down, like a contact wash with this in the bucket. And then we're gonna go over it with this with the clay matrix mat. All right, guys, first order of business. We're gonna do a quick contact wash on the panel. And we're just gonna do a demonstration on half the hood for now. Okay. Now we're gonna rinse it. You can see the protection from the uh, 007 Gloss Enhancer Ceramic and the waterless wash that I've been using since I've taken delivery of the car. Okay, good. So now we took a lot of the, the bugs that were on there, but when I still rub my hand across it, I could still feel that there's a lot of junk in the paint. So here we go with the Solo Foamer. And we're gonna use this liberally. 
you can see we're not getting a very dry foam, but we're getting good lubrication. You're gonna take your clay matrix towel. Now, you're not gonna to wanna to dig this into the paint. You're gonna to wanna to use just the weight of your hand and slowly go over this, just like this. And you're gonna be able to feel it. This is why I think this works better than some of those thicker clay pads, because this one you could actually feel exactly what's gonna go on. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's the technique that I just wanna show you. If you wanna decontaminate with a clay type product, this is what you're gonna to have to use. And I'll try to put links to a lot of this stuff where you guys can pretty much buy it online. And that's it. Okay, now we're just gonna rinse this off and I'm gonna show you another demonstration using another technique. All right guys, next demonstration we're gonna show you or I'm gonna show you is using Goo Gone. You can pick this up at any Home Depot, Lowe's or Amazon. So if you go really close, down to the bottom, you can see this is all tar and fallout. This does not come off with a conventional contact wash. So we're going to be using a microfiber wax pad. We're going to get the product. Now this is pretty safe, but it has a petroleum distillate base that's going to dissolve all of this tar. You can just look at that. This is paint from somebody painted street lines somewhere where I was driving right there. That's going to be probably a little tougher to get off. But you guys could see with that quick pass, you can see all the junk that came off the bottom of the rocker panel just by using the Gugan. We completely got all that off. We're going to go down under here. And you can see all the junk that came off just by using a simple retail product that you can pick up anywhere. Safe, for the matte finishes, safe to get the tar and everything off the car. Let's move on to the next demonstration right now. All right guys, next demonstration, a simple IPA prep solution. So I use the Gion prep, this works great. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna saturate your panel. And like I say, you wanna use the product liberally and be forewarned that once you do this, any spray sealant or anything that you put on the car, you're gonna have to reapply. So you're just gonna go over the panel just like this, of course, after the vehicle's washed. And I could feel it already. If you get closer with the camera, you could, you could hear it. There's, there's no contamination on the top of the surface. That's what we want. We want to get all the embedded particles that do not come off during a conventional contact wash and use simple solutions that are not going to gloss up the finish, scratch the finish. And you can kind of see it in the towel right there. That's a lot of stuff that just came off this panel right here. So now we're going to make sure that panel's dry go over it with a twisted loop microfiber towel make sure it's dry now i've been using our auto fanatic hypergloss ceramic waterless wash as my protectant so we're going to spray it back onto the panel because we just stripped it using the ipa wipe we're going to let it sit and then we're just going to rub it in and you can see it's not glossing up the panel at all but now we increase the slip angle and the hydrophobic protection of the Green Hell Magno paint finish. And that's kind of like what I want to show you. So the IPA wipe is going to be good for minor imperfections. So believe it or not, when you pull back, the back of this car doesn't get all the grunt of it. It's usually the fenders, the hood, the bumper, and the bottom of the doors. This seems to stay relatively clean where you get minor contamination. That's why I showed you the IPA wipe. Now, for the final demonstration, we're going to go over to the driver's side lower rocker panel and we're going to use the APC with a brand new microfiber wax pad. All right guys, for the final demonstration, we're going to be using the Chemical Guys All-Purpose Cleaner and Degreaser Super Citrus. Now, before I actually tried this on the panel, I didn't use it full strength, so I have it diluted almost 50-50 with deionized water. So, same situation, we're going to use a brand new microfiber wax pad. We're going to prime the pad. There we go. Now, if you look on the bottom, There's just a lot of junk all down here. Okay, so we're gonna take the wax pad. You can kind of go in circular motions, whatever. And this APC, believe it or not, I've been using this for a while. I bought a bunch of this stuff and I've been testing it specifically on this paint. And 
This one works really, really well in this technique. You can, so this microfiber, you can see all the dirt that's coming off. It acts as a scrubbing pad, but it's soft enough that it's not going to shine up the finish. That's the whole thing. Well, I was talking to the guy that owns the body shop, and he says you have to be careful as far as the materials you use on these finishes. And he said BMW frozen finishes are the most notorious for getting shiny spots from washing the car with the wrong pads and, and the wrong towels. So we got that there. Okay, so that's all clean. Now we're just gonna go give it a quick rinse and we're gonna reapply our protection. So I'm not busting out the pressure washer. So we're just gonna use the IK sprayer. Okay, you can see, get closer. That panel's perfectly clean. Now we're going to dry it. Pull back, we're going to dry it. Okay. All right, so now that we just use an APC on the finish, we're going to reapply our protection because we want to make this car much easier to clean the next time around because all the tar and bugs and everything, I don't have any you know, rock guards or splash guards on this car. So with these wide front tires, it's kicking up a lot of junk. So that's pretty much it. Those are four simple demonstrations and techniques on how to take care of matte finish paint. So I'm gonna conclude the video right now and show you everything on the table. All right guys, hope you got some tips and tricks on how to care for matte finishes, whether it's PPF, vinyl wrap, or factory OEM paint. So just wanna reiterate and show you exactly what we did. So when we used the Goo Gone, this was all the contamination that came off the passenger side lower rocker panel. When we use the all-purpose cleaner, this is all the contamination that came off the driver's side rocker panel. When we used the Gion wipe, the Gion prep, this is what came off on the white microfiber towel. Also, I showed you how to do the clay matrix using, we used 007 Snowstorm, we added some 007 Gloss Enhancer just because we wanted to get a very lubricant rich solution. I don't recommend conventional cleaning clays, I think you're going to mar and damage the finish. And also when you're done, no matter what process you're using, because you're going to be stripping any protection off the paint, follow up with your favorite paint protection sealant, wax, or spray detailer. Hope you guys liked this video. Stay tuned. As I learn more about the matte finishes, I've been playing around with this for four weeks, trying all different products and talking to some professionals that actually recommended a lot of this stuff for me today. And like I said, it works very effective. It's safe. It didn't shine up and gloss up the finish. You can see here. Uh, the car looks great. We got all the bugs, the sap, and all the contamination off without causing any marring or issues. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the AutoFanet channel and stay tuned for more auto detailing content. I will see you guys in another video soon. Thanks, guys.